If you're a fresher or a college student who wants to learn web development, but you're confused about which one to pick, front-end or back-end development, or if you're just confused about what exactly is front-end development and back-end development, or maybe you know you don't know out of front-end and back-end which one is suitable for you, what are the career opportunities in both, and which one will be a better choice in long term, then this video is for you. You should watch this video till the end because at the end of the video, I'll also share a very nice way, actually the right way to learn to code that will help you become a better coder. So let's begin, shall we? Front-end and back-end are the two sides of a website or a web application. As the name suggests, front-end is the front side and back-end is the back side. When someone is standing in front of you, you see their face and you do not see their backs. So the face is the front side and the back side is the back end, right? Very poor example, but makes sense. Wait, wait, is that supposed to be some kind of joke? So front end is the part that is visible to us. By us, I mean the client who is accessing the website or the web application. For example, if I open facebook.com on a browser, what will I see? I'll see the front end, the news feed, the profile pages, buttons, images, videos, status posted by someone else. All these things presented in a good layout is the front end of Facebook.com. We also call it user interface because the user sees it and interacts with it. On the other hand, the back end is the code running on the Facebook server doing all the computation, running all the business logic, the algorithms, interacting with the database, providing data to the front end and all that stuff. Too much information. Let's take a simple real life example. In a restaurant, the places where all the tables and chairs are set, where you sit and eat your food, you order your food, the bar where the bartender is serving drinks, all that is front end. The lights, the walls, the paint that is done, the chandelier, all the decoration, that's part of the front end because that is what the user sees. Whereas the kitchen where all the food is being cooked, and the pantry where all the utensils are being cleaned, that is the back end of the restaurant. Now for a restaurant to work well, both the front end and the back end has to be good. The sitting area has to be nice and the kitchen should cook good food. Similarly, in a website as well, both front end and back end plays equal roles. But what should you choose? Well, I would say the one which is easy to learn as a beginner, you should start with that. And that is front end. One very important thing that I personally get to hear from a lot of programmers, young coders is that they get demotivated very easily. Because when you are working with C++ or Java programming language, working with algorithms and data structures, you keep on coding, keep on solving problems. There's so less to see what you are actually doing. There's so less to see what you're building or you're working on. Whereas in case of front end, when you learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript, they are easy to learn and you create website, web pages with them, which keeps one motivated because whatever you code, you can actually see the output in the browser. And that is very nice way to keep yourself engaged in to building more and more. So the first point that I have is if you are a beginner, I would recommend start with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It's a very good way to start and you know enter into coding. If you're someone who is coming from a different background, a different side altogether and you want to shift your career into coding again, start with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. It's not necessary that you have to get into front end development, but if you know front end development, if you have the idea of how things work when you write code, what output you get to see, how the whole setup works together, it will be easier for you to shift to backend as well. You can start with designing interesting user interfaces, design your own portfolio page. You can also pick small, small applications like to do, weather application, and all this will help you understand how coding works in general. After doing a couple of projects, you can decide if you want to stick with front end development or you want to you know, try more rigorous backend programming. Backend programming is not fancy. Let me warn you with that. It's more about terminals and consoles, but some real problems of websites and web applications are solved and handled by the backend. In the backend, you will be dealing with databases, interacting with databases, filing SQL queries on databases, getting data from the database, inserting data into the database, updating the values in database. Then you will be interacting with the front end, providing data to the front end, doing basic computations. There will be a cache. There are other tons of services running in the backend with which main core application code has to interact. So yes, it's a little tedious, but again, if you start doing it step by step, it will be easy for you to understand. Now, in case you want to do both front end and back end, I am trying everything. Then you can become a full stack developer. A full stack developer is a person who handles both front end development and back end development. So for that, you have to have a holistic understanding of both front end and back end. 
I would recommend if you want to become a full stack developer, learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then take JavaScript for the backend as well. Learn Node.js and develop backend in JavaScript. That will help you not deviate from the path and you'll have to learn less technologies, less frameworks to become a full stack developer. The second short, short point I personally think is if you're a creative person who like designing, have a good sense of color, enjoy placing things in order so that they look good, you're good with layouts, arranging different things, and you want to do the same in your career as well, then front end is for you. Trust me, I personally like it. Although I work on full stack, but I really enjoy working on the front end. I really enjoy creating beautiful layouts, beautiful user interfaces. On the other hand, if your core competency is to solve logical problems, you like working with databases, enjoy data structures and algorithms, have a good understanding of how HTTP protocol works, and REST APIs, then backend is for you. The third and the last point, which is also a very important point before considering you want to pick front end or back end, is that front end landscape is continuously changing. In the last 10 years itself, if you consider JavaScript, there have been so many frameworks that are created in JavaScript. So you will have to constantly evolve. You'll have to constantly learn new things to be relevant in this industry. Because in case of front end, for CSS, there is bootstrap there is materialized css there is tailwind there are so many frameworks every two to three years the design layout the design language of the internet changes so you'll have to constantly update yourself with how you know you design the layouts which css framework you use what are the new things what are the new components that are introduced then comes javascript there's react there is angular there is Next.js, there's Vue.js. so there are so many things you'll have to constantly evolve your skills whereas in case of backend it's more about learning the concepts of computer science, the concepts of networking, the concepts of database and programming language is just a means to implement whatever you learn. Data structures, algorithms, all these things, the design patterns that are followed, communicating with the cache, communicating with queues, all these things remain same, just the programming language interfaces changes. So the basic core concept that you learn or that you understand or that you build over a period of time when you are a backend developer will always remain the same, just that you know you will have to learn how a particular programming language is capable of doing all those things. So if you're ready to keep on learning things and you're a creative person, you want to see what you are coding, then front-end development is for you. If you're good with logical problem solving, data structures, algorithms, you like working with the database, you like playing around with data, then back-end development is for you. I think these three points you should consider before picking anyone out of front-end or back-end development. Before ending this video, I'd like to share with you about stritonite.com. You can go on stritonite.com, learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript by actually writing code. Yes, you do not have to watch videos. You do not have to read long tutorials. You'll have to do exercises, and those are interesting as well. And the system guides you with learning. So it makes it more helpful for you understanding what you are doing and what code you're writing and actually writing the code will help you to learn code and make you a better coder. Trust me, without writing code, you cannot become a coder. You should check it out, it's available for free and there are projects as well that you can pick and do. At the end of the course, you'll get a course completion certificate that you can share around with your friends. What better than that? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends who are confused about front-end and back-end development. If you still have any query, post your comments. I'll definitely reply to all those comments. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll be making more and more videos for you to help you out with your coding journey.